Welcome to this month's Art Talk. Each month, Julie Schumer and I discuss what's going on in our art businesses in hopes that you'll find something helpful for your own art business. So this month, we were talking about what's going on in our studios, and both Julie and I are thinking about or starting a new series. And I wanted to kind of talk about how that happened for me. Um, and, you know, I only have one painting, <laughs> and, you know, in the new series, in the potential, That's okay. <laughs> in the potential new series. But um, essentially, when I work in my studio, I'm not forcing an outcome. So I find that my work either lands in one of two camps in an entirely abstract uh, camp or a more nature-based camp. And so those are my two primary series currently. So uh, I had an outlier, like a big outlier, something new that I tried that I was, you know, had in my head that I was curious about. And I really, really enjoyed the process and I had fun, but it doesn't fit anywhere. And so my next consideration was, okay, what do I do with this painting? You know, I could try to turn it into one of my two series, or I could consider it for a new series. So I'm doing the latter. And I began with writing a statement about the series and titling the series, even though there's only a single painting, but it's helped me to kind of formulate an idea further, you know, down the road. And so I'm starting to just begin uh, a second painting in the series. So, you know, it, it takes me 20 paintings or more to even know really what the series is going to look like. So I'm just at the very, 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 very beginning. Um, but that's how it goes for me. So, so Julie, what about you? How did your new series come about? Well, it's, it's started in a way different way than yours. Um, I went to a workshop in the Bay Area earlier in the month when I was visiting my children. Mm -hmm. And I I'd, I'd signed up for this workshop. It was given by Carl Hayward, who's a Bay Area mixed media artist who does a lot of collage work. And he has a workshop. It's only three hours on a Sunday afternoon. That's basically, I think it's called push-pull. It's, it's designed to get you to work in different ways than you've been working to get you out of ruts and kind of, you know, out of the habitual way of doing things. Mm -hmm. And I have never in my life, except for maybe like in the third grade, done collage work. I just <laughs> haven't done it. Don't ask me why. I It's just never uh, happened, mm -hmm. for lack of a better word. So I thought, okay, I can, I'll try, I'll try this. And he had all kinds of, you know, collage type material that you could pick out of a big, you know, bags and bags of stuff. So I really loved it. I had a really interesting experience with it. I'm not really a shape person in mm -hmm. my painting. I'm more of a mark maker person. Yes. So this kind of forced me into thinking more about shapes, which is not customary for me. Right. So I went home and I decided, you know, I'm going to try this in earnest, you know, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. And so that's how this has started. I, I have, I have like the eight pieces I, you know, had shipped home with me, which are just, you know, practice mm -hmm. things. And then I started, I, I took some old panels that had, you know, paintings on them. And I went through like one huge flat file full of works on paper and decided what I could kind of repurpose for this collage mm -hmm. purpose. And so I've, I have two so far that are each one of them <laughs> 24 by 18. And I'm just going to go with this and see where it takes me. You know, maybe it'll be a bust. Maybe it'll turn into an interesting new series. But I also have to say that I was sort of in the mood for something new, which is why I went to the workshop in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, and so wherever it lands will be fine because if it doesn't wind up being something that gets put into the outside world, it will at least inform what I do generally yeah. and will we'll change that into something else. So it'll be, you know, another series of whatever it winds up being. Yeah. But I, I haven't used, you know, blue and matte medium, you know, and, and paper like in that way, you know, really ever, mm -hmm. but it's kind of fun. Yeah. It's, it's a win-win though. It's a win-win for sure for me. Yeah. It's either going to be a new series or it'll shift what you currently do. Right. That's exciting. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I, you know, I, I think I like the idea of it being a series because I usually work, you know, on large unstretched canvas. Mm -hmm. And with these, if I'm going to be doing them on panel, they're going to have to be smaller because I can't lift heavy panels anymore. Number one. Mm -hmm. And number two, I think like a series of smaller works would be kind of a nice counterpoint to all the big work. Right. You know, and it's kind of a fun way to, to develop that. And, I you think. know, and smaller work can be kind of trying to do. Very trying. You know, when you're used to larger work. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's, it's challenging on a number of fronts, I would say. Yeah. But this will be a way that you could develop a series of smalls. Right. And, and it sounds super fun. Yeah. No, it is. It is. So you could say it's a series because it's going to be mixed media. I'm not sure if it'll be you know, any on paper versus on panel. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a whole nother process than what the other paintings that I do. 